Logan Kane here, and welcome to episode 8 of Bleed. We're going to continue our hard mode thing. The army is next. Ooh. Can we do it? I don't know. Let's find out. If I can't, then they're in, they're, they're in li and lies the end of the series. But last time, I seem to remember we got something that sounded fun. Laser rifle. Evidently requires pinpoint accuracy. Okay, this one's kind of hard to use with the steam controller. So with the mouse, you can aim and then fire. With this, it fires wherever you aim. Although I guess I can. I'm probably going to die here right away because I'm just messing around with this laser rifle. I don't think I like it. It's not conducive to the controller, that's for damn sure. Let's go ahead and switch back. Is the mouse in the way? The mouse was in the way. That is an annoying little... I would consider it a bug. If I try to move stuff around, but the mouse just happens to be sitting on something, I can't. It's awful. Yes, yeah, so let's go back to our standard loadout and move out. I really don't know what else to say here. Oh, right. This is where we have to just kill them for a while until the thing opens. That's... That's definitely a job for the katana. Katana's really good at stuff like this. I forget if they end. I guess they don't. At least they don't on hard. Oh, army. I wonder if those go faster. I remember that being a big problem for me. The li the ice beams. Specifically, over here. That guy seems to be moving a bit faster. Okay. I got hit twice. That shouldn't have happened. And that was just a complete fuck up. Let's try again. I don't know, I'm starting to think I should be using this, but it just doesn't have the same ability. Maybe shotgun would be good for here. I mean, the shotgun hasn't been very good for most things. But maybe it would be good in this situation. So let it go back over there, come over here, and then just fly on over. I don't know why this is so difficult for me. But that guy running at the bottom, the way that it flashes screws with my head. And once I'm hit by those, I'm pretty much fucked, aren't I? No, I managed to get out. Go! One more! Ugh. I don't know. Oh, that's right. I need to stay in between. Shit. Let's try something else. Let's try the flamethrower. Come on. The flamethrower. There we go. Maybe the flamethrower would be good here. I don't know. The flamethrower seems to have a weird attack pattern. It's not a constant thing of flame, because if it was, it would be good. But it's like bursts of flames, which is not good, and is also not how a flamethrower works. So I'm not sure if this is the best weapon for me to be using for this. It's clearly the worst weapon for me to be using for this. Let's try this one. Oh, I just went with that. That's lame. Shotgun. Let's try shotgun. Shotgun's even slower. It's like a slower flamethrower. Huh. And the shots don't linger around at all. Damn it. I want upper right to be okay, not bottom right. Fucking steam in their defaults. All right. Back to what we were doing. Probably going to die here soon. Too busy sampling things. This is a very long one. But it's very long between checkpoints, which is not really normal. It's kind of a weird difficulty ramp. While these guys aren't too difficult, 
to get through. When they knock you back and you end up getting hit by the ice beams, it starts being a problem. Man, the katana needs to just be a little bit faster. Or maybe I just need to not use it constantly. But that's hard to do, again, on this controller. Oh, right, fuck. So I need to traverse this area as fast as possible. And then that happens. I don't even know what happened. I jumped, and then it looked like she jumped in midair. And no longer could rocket boot. So I, I don't I don't know. Maybe I'll see it when I go through editing. Maybe I won't. Because I don't actually look at most of the video when I'm re-editing. I just look at bits and part pieces, otherwise I'd go insane spending all that time trying to make it perfect. I'm gonna take it a little slower, that didn't work. Taking a little slower seems to have increased my damage taking. That's good. Let's use more, let's use more tie-dye. There we go. That might help a lot here, actually. Oh, I ran out of tie-dye. That's annoying. And there we go. That's the end of that. Alright, we made it. Back to regular attacks, because I believe we fight a boss now? Yes, we do. Oh, right. Now I remember this guy. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and switch to mouse and keyboard just to see what the laser rifle will do to this guy. Is this laser? Is this laser? There's laser. Done. Resume. Wow, that does an immense amount of damage. But then I can't control my character anymore. <laughs> Let's see. Shoot at the orange one. Jump! Wow, I can't believe how much harder it is to control her with the keyboard. It's taking a lot of concentration, so I'm being a little bit, a little bit quieter than normal here. And then I get hit. Let's try with the controller. I don't think I can use the laser with the controller, though. I can try. Much more defensive with the controller, much more offensive with the mouse. It's really hard to aim single shots. Basically, I'm doing what he's... Do oh, shit. Maybe if I slow it down, get a couple of hits off, slow it down, hit, slow it down, hit, slow it down, hit. Not a hit, because it's hard to aim, because that's not how this these controls are designed. Oh, shit. Man, I'm too concentrated. Well, I'm not. Even yeah, I'm not making any noise. I'm going a little silent there. Maybe we'll just try a regular, good old-fashioned dual pistols. They seem to be the best in most situations. Constant stream of damage. And then I do that. Oh yeah, I've been putting out way more damage with these. I don't know how I'm supposed to avoid that. I really don't. Unless I'm just not supposed to avoid it. It's possible. Unlikely, but possible. Yeah, 
Man, this isn't even the boss, is it? This is rough. That was a full time tie dye. Ti full tie dye damage. It comes about. What? Honestly, don't know if I'm doing better with this than the. How does it hit? Man, that doesn't work quite right. I should be safe. I should be in the shadow where I've been. No, I don't want to be here. Ah, fucking hell! Get out. Now that that's settled. Maybe I should just go for one hit per... See, I'm trying to shoot towards him all these times, but it's really, really difficult with the touchpad. See? What is this? That's a new one. Go to the right! Sh just shoot right! Like, if I could just have her shoot right, I'd be doing so much better. Shoot right. Shoot in a straight line. You bitch, you bitch, you bitch. Shoot in the direction. really hard to do. No. Now if I could jump with my right hand. <laughs> so I can aim when I'm using the mouse. Oh great. Just stand on him. Just Is there even a point in trying this time? Shoot up! Shoot. See, I can't, I can't shoot right, I can't shoot up, and I can't shoot, I can't shoot in any direction I'm trying to shoot it. Oh, okay, I can shoot up, kind of. I can't help but feel if I was using an, a, a, an analog stick I'd be doing better, and I'm very bad with analog sticks. And of course I get hit by the stray bullet. Bah, my frothing demand for victory. Well, I missed it. That was one that I hadn't seen before. So slow down. Fire. Fire again. That one went straight through him and it didn't do any damage. So did that one. What the fuck? Come on, shoot up. Yeah, that's me just stroking upwards trying to get to fire up. Failing miserably, of course. Slow down. Just go up. Look at that angle.
I feel like I would have had a better chance of beating if I just had been using this the whole time. Because I can kind of fine-tune as I go. With the laser rifle, it's, it's either hitting or it's not. Which is fine, if you can actually aim. Which, with this control configuration, you, you really can't. It's more of a spray and pray situation for... Oh, shit. Stepping on my... Stepping on my damn headphone cord. But this just doesn't do very much damage. Although I do... See, I can kind of fine-tune and then I get all that damage in. So... Okay, I don't... I got hit twice. I don't know how to avoid it, but I can figure out how to get hit twice. I seem to be doing much better with this. So I actually have a chance to hit. Come down. But even with this, sometimes it's difficult to get it to go where I want it to go. I just get the huge advantage of being able to slide my finger around and go for the best. I swear, the slowdown slows down their, their movement, too. But I don't know. That's a bad way to explain it. I feel like when I'm slowing down, they actually take longer to complete moves than the comparable time of them being sped up. And that wasn't even the boss. Shit. That's right. Fuck. I was thinking I was done with this. Oh, boy. That's right. I forgot about this part. This part got me killed a few times. That's for sure. How do you get around that? I guess like that. No go. No go. I wonder if I was quiet when I was doing this one last time. Because this is actually really difficult. It's difficult to concentrate on attacking in two directions at once while not attacking in another. Fire! Stop stopping your firing! Okay. So, this is clearly go around, turn around, fire, turn around. Jesus Christ. Hopefully it's over. I don't want to do that ever again. This is the mirror core. That's right, this guy is a thing. I don't remember how to avoid his... What is... How am I going to avoid that? I wonder if laser would be good for this guy. Since he's such a large target, I'd be able to hit him an awful lot. Oh, I was expecting to have slow down. And I didn't. That's a massive problem. Okay, that guy wasn't as hard as the last one. But I feel like there's another fight. There is another fight. That's three. That's two mini fights. Man. The devs are really on to something when they did this one. They're like, oh, I gotta... This isn't enough fights. We need to do like six different fights. I wonder if I can go this way. Nope. Can't even jump off the damn thing. What the fuck? Go away, mouse. Alright. Dual pistols. Katana. Because that's the only way I'm getting through this. Come on. There you go. Katana. The katana can take some of them down that are below the level. Of course, when the attacks stop happening, it doesn't matter. Alright. That's right, that's the guy. I remember this guy now. Ooh, that lasts a lot longer. That's certainly different. How does this one... How does this one change up? Does he go all the way back down or something? No, that one's the same. Is that one different? Ooh. He punches out part of the army. 
And the bomb. The bomb has more explosive things coming out. More more army coming out. I guess that's what they are. They're army. Although this guy seems nearly the same. Maybe they didn't do that extra launch. Like this guy has the extra launch when he hits. I don't think the shark used to do it when he'd come up. Just when he went down. And then this guy lasts longer, and that's absolutely terrifying. And I can't destroy the the army men, which I think previously I was able to destroy the army. Because that's how, well, that's how I'd get through it. Oh, Jesus. Didn't let me do my jump again. What is that? Oh, I beat him. Took out the battalion. s rank battalion. He was a lot easier than <laughs> the first boss. The first of three bosses in this level. But yes, I forgot what episode I'm on. I think this is eight. So yeah, that's it for episode eight. I say that's it. And then I go, oh yeah, the shop. Do we have money? We can buy the mines. We get to try out mines next time. But yes, that's it for episode eight. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy.